I saw my first giant Dodger game on September 1st of 1958. And I have the proof. This is the program from that game. Inside is the scorecard where my father kept score as we watched the game together at Seal Stadium. So for you Giant fans, the uh, Giants won the game 8-6 to six, and Willie Mays went 5-5. Five for five. I'll leave it up here. Uh, feel free to look, but handle it gently, please, because it's, it's old. Uh, you know, in those early years, in those early years, there was very little baseball on television. So he's picking 58 in the Giants first game. But they did telecast the games from Los Angeles. So that kind of became must-see TV for me, my dad, and my family. And so my first real uh, closeness to baseball was Giants-Dodgers. So I think by eight years old, I could probably give you the rosters for both teams. Uh, I knew them so well. Well, the, uh, to fast forward a little bit here to, to, to say how, why, the, why the book happened. In 1998, I was at Candlestick Park, and the Giants held a pregame ceremony to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the first ever Giant Dodger game. And they had players from, the, from that actual first game uh, in convertibles and drove them around the field. And so I took all this in. And as they came by, instead of seeing the faces of aging men, I could almost close my eyes and remember them the way they were when I first walked into Seal Stadium. And as a kid, so innocent, the sky is blue and the grass is green and baseball heroes are on the field. I have a long career, as, as was mentioned, in uh, newspapers, the writer, editor, and such. And so I thought, I wonder if I could actually use that experience and merge that with my knowledge and, frankly, passion for the rivalry and see if I could tell this great baseball story. And so I didn't do it really right away, but eventually launched into a pretty extensive research project that involved truly reviewing more than 1,000 giant Dodger games on the West Coast and some on the East Coast. Uh, and a short story hooked up with a New York publisher. We got our hands on uh, photos for the book, which basically are photos of all the big moments as they happened uh, in the rivalry over the years. And uh, we got ourselves a book that we hope uh, told, the, told the story. So, this great rivalry, how did it start? Where did it come from? I mentioned that in, eight, in 1958 that the Giants and Dodgers arrived here from Brooklyn and New York but you can actually trace the roots of the rivalry back 100 years before then to the 1850s. In the 1850s, just after organized ball was just getting underway, uh, Brooklyn and New York had a number of teams. And whenever those two teams played, there was a lot of passion among the fans, a lot of fan fervor for both teams. So it was a big deal if a giant was playing, if a giant team was playing, or a Dodger team, not Dodger, but Brooklyn and New York teams were playing. And so in 1858, the interest was so high that they basically scheduled a three-game exhibition series of the best of New York teams against the best of the Brooklyn teams. And this became a pretty significant game. Number one, it was the first time there was ever paid admission for a baseball game, 50 cents. It was also the first all-star game. And the uh, New York won the series three games to, three game, two games to one. But it showed that great fan fervor at that early part. Well, finally, to the, the New York, uh, the Giants franchise, as we know it, was organized in 1883 in New York as the Gothams. And the Dodger franchise, as we know it, was organized in 1884 in Brooklyn as the Atlantics. But those two teams couldn't play each other because they were in two different leagues. That, I'm going to say Giants and Dodgers for the sake of simplicity. We can go later on on the, the names of the teams. So the, the Giants were in the National League, and the Dodgers were in the American Association at that time. So they could only play if they won their respective pennants and then played in some type of postseason. That finally happened in 1889. 
And so on October 18th of 1889, <clears throat> the two teams met for the first ever time in a best of 11 uh, championship series. Uh, the Dodgers won the first game 12 to 10, but the Giants came back and won the series six games to three. And in fact, this October 18th is the 125th anniversary of the first ever Giant Dodger game. During the offseason, they moved the Dodgers to the National League. And on May 3rd of 1890, the Giants and Dodgers played their first ever official regular season game, won by the Dodgers 7 to 3. But the rivalry, as we knew it, was now underway.